going to start off, we're going to make a, a big diamond here, right? And what are we going to put down here? Negative 92x, right? We're going to take the second term, bring it right down. Then we're going to take the first term and multiply it by the third term. And we have 180x squared. Then we're going to do what? We're going to have to fill in these other parts of the diamond right here. And so we're going to have to find two numbers that multiply together to equal 180, that add up together to equal negative 92. And so you look at that and you go, wow, that's kind of crazy because those are some big numbers. So this is going to, what's this is going to take me all day? So there's a shortcut here. You want to figure out what is the square root of this term right here? What's the square root of 180? And you don't need to know exactly what it is. You just need to know approximately what it is. So let's see, 180, uh, well 12 times 12 is 144, 13 times 13, 169. Um, that's less than 180, a little bit less. 14 times 14, 196. So it's between 13 and 14. So it's somewhere between 13 and 14. You don't need to know exactly what it is. You just need to know that it's somewhere between 13 and 14. And that helps you narrow down what factors of 180 you want to look for. Since it's 13, it's just a little bit more than 13, you plug in 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so you start off and you go, okay, what's 180 divided by 13? And um, Let's see, 180 divided by 13, that's not going to be an even number. That's like 13 point something, 8.4 or something, I believe. And so that one's not even, so can't work. Well, 12 times 15, well, that's 180 divided by 12 is 15, so you get 12 times 15 is 180, but 12 plus 15 is definitely not negative 92, so that doesn't work. So you go to the next number, 11. And what do you get? Um, 180 divided by 11, and you have what? Uh, something like 16.36. That's not an even number, so can't do that. 180 divided by 10. Well, you got 18. Well, that's even. 10 plus 18 is 28, so 28 is definitely not equal to negative 92. So that one doesn't work. So now you go, okay, wait a minute. I still got a bunch of numbers to do, and I haven't found an answer. So you got to figure out, maybe I, should, maybe I might be better starting from the bottom. Because if you look at this, 13 plus 13.8 is just under 27. 12 plus 15 is 27. 11 plus 16.36 is just over 27. And 10 plus 18 is 28. So you see the direction you're going in. You're going in the right direction, but you're not anywhere close to negative 92. So you come down here. And you go 1 times 180. And that equals 180. 1 plus 180 is equal, not equal to negative 92, so that one's gone. So you go to the next one. 2 times, well, let's see, 2 times 90, I think we may have a winner. That equals 180. And negative 2 plus negative 90 equals negative 2. Uh, I think we got a winner there. Negative 2x and negative 90x add up to negative 92x, and they also multiply to equal 180x squared. So there you go. You don't even have to look at the rest of them. That's your solution. So then you move on to the next part, right? We make the two binomials. And what goes here in the first term? x, right? Not 5x, not 3x, not x squared, just an x. It'll always just be an x. Or it might be a y or a z, whatever, whatever variable your trinomial happens to use. So we got an x. And then, of course, we take this coefficient here and put it right here. We take this coefficient here in the other box we just created, minus 90. All right. Then what do we do? We take the lead coefficient of the first term of your trinomial, bring it on down to here. So we take, again, we take this lead term here, we take this term 15, and we put it under here under the 2. And we take this term 15, and we bring it over here, and we put it underneath the 90. So now we we have x minus 2 fifteenths times x minus 90 divided by 15, and we simplify. And of course, this simplifies to x minus 2 fifteenths. Can't really simplify that anymore. And this becomes x minus 
6 because 90 divided by 15 is 6. And now what do you do? You take the 15 here, bring it in front. 15x minus 2. This is really 6 divided by 1, so you bring the 1 in front. That doesn't change. And there is your solution. Okay, so now that you've, you, you, it seems like you've got the right answer, you can always test it, right? Does, does 15x squared minus 92x plus 12 equal 15x minus 2 times x minus 6? And you just, you can either FOIL it or you can use the box. Um, if you use FOIL, you go like this. You just say 15x times x, which equals 15x squared, and 15x times negative 6 makes negative 90x, and negative 2 times x makes negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12, and you end up with, of course, 15x squared minus 92x plus 12. So it does work. Okay, you can also use the box, which I show in another video. I'm not going to go in a whole, spend a whole lot of time on, a whole lot of time on how to use the box. Um, I've got another video that'll show you that. Um, but basically, you take, um, you can multiply it here and say, okay, we've got 15x, and we've got negative 2, and we've got x, and we've got negative 6. 15x times x is 15x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 15x times negative 6 is negative 90x. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. And so that becomes, uh, sorry, whoops, that's, that should be an x there. 15x squared, negative 2 and negative 90 makes negative 92x and positive 12, and it checks out.